Keep this hand. Got turn two Howley Mine on the draw. Game over. Yeah, yeah, and then it's sideboards and the miracles. Which, why not toss a sanctuary in? Well, that's kind of like the deal, right? Is that you know, if people people can like will often tell me, hey, you could tweak or tune this, but you know, a lot of people want to see me play like their seventy five, you know, and then I I'm giving my thoughts on it, and we're like kind of like testing together, um, and so I feel like that kind of defeats the purpose if if you know without that, you know, expressed, you know, permission to change. Of course. Feels a bit, uh... A bit poor to me to do that. But I, I will I will give my opinions on, like, what I think is, is wrong, you know, what I dislike about the deck at the beginning, and then at the end of the league we get to see if my opinion is still the same at the end. So we can discard Temporal Mastery to hand size, and then... Oh, sorry, we have to play a land, never mind. And Sanctuary back, but you know, we don't have to do that anytime soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, th this deck is playing three Sanctuaries, so it's not like this deck is just trying to forgo Sanctuary because they dislike it. Uh, we could maybe Giga Drows them here. It's like pretty bad if they have Jace the Mind Sculpture this turn. I think this that's pretty good. Never actually cast Giga Drows before. I've definitely played against these decks a lot in the past. Uh, I like you know local tournaments and stuff. Can you stop replicate? I believe you can. Ooh, take my temporal mastery, please. Tapping mine over one, probably better. Um, maybe, yeah. Forgot that mine has that, you know, old school effect. So we can snap Giga Drows to tap their blue sources in their upkeep. Or we can tap their Triome and our Howling Mine. I think I'll do that. It's a cool line. <laughs> These temporal masteries, dude. Oh my gosh. I think I'll bottom the fountain, keep the warp. I think this is going to be a really fun league. I'm so honored my opponent's playing my deck. It's awesome. This the Saltigorio's list. I just I just love like the first time I run into a brew of mine in the wild. Do I spend any time with Donalus before you beforehand to familiarize? I mean I don't play I don't play them before, but I also don't really feel like I need to. So if they have Thoughtseize here to discard my Cryptic, they win. And if they have Thoughtseize plus Vengeance plus Classification. Do I counter this? No, I don't think so. Because I, I think I'll just like tap their Bruna. Draw a card. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I recognize that this is just my deck list. And if they're going... Like they're, my deck list doesn't play counter spells. Although like if they have a Thoughtseize, it is bad. But just like stopping their combo by tapping their team has like a pretty high upside. Like here, I don't. I don't need to counter Bruna. I'm, I'm just like very likely to untap and win. I can just like counter uh, bounce a row, kill it with Snapcaster. Well, I guess they can maybe draw a Fatal Push and have to find a different win con. Or I guess we could just just tapping their team actually. 
you know, deals with the Uru. They don't seem to have Gorio's Vengeance in their hands. They, they've, they've got, they have to have it. They just are like playing around the cryptic, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're about to take a lot of turns. Hopefully they didn't find a fatal push. They did find a fatal push, so we, we can still try to win with a part the water veil if they didn't find two. Huh. Let's do the time warp. This list also only playing one Jace is a bit weird to me. I can respond to the Sanctuary trigger with the Ops so we do get value out of the Scry. Uh, I'm going to bottom the Giga Drows. Top. And then I think we're just going to hard cast Temporal Mastery. It's a good draw. Yeah, maybe we could go... No, we don't want to go Exhaustion because they can still kill us with Goria's Vengeance. But if we get to two more mana, we can Jace plus Time Warp and then start Jacing. Hmm. Mr. Land, I think I'll just cycle the Mastery. Let's do the Time Warp again. Missing a lot of lands, think we'll be okay though. And then I'll just Giga Drowse the Swamp. Just in case they did find Fatal Push. Here comes the lands. And now we can go Exhaustion plus Jace without really fearing too much. I mean, we get to put... I guess we, we've lost our Temporal Masteries, huh? But they can't, they can't kill me with their combo. And I know this, because I built the deck. We would have Commandeer up. Alright, so Rest in Peace is very good against them. Force is good. To very honestly isn't that good because they don't really play counter spells. And because they don't play counter spells, you can maybe trim on some number of Giga Drows. Force is good to stop their Gorio's Vengeance combo, I think, but maybe not that necessary. Break up the Commandeer. The Amanda's okay. Get the Ops. Yeah, I thought about doing like a big post of all my brews from 2020. But I feel like maybe it'd be a little douchey. Let me keep this. I don't think I've ever cast Commandeer before. The main deck Commandeer is pretty juicy. I kind of don't think that it's that good, but it's juicy for sure. Well, the five thought sees on the play is usually not a very good spot to be. <laughs> but that's two games in a row. All right, let's get this going. Draw Temporal Mastery on turn one counts. What a draw. Last year, commentated. Uh, I don't remember Dirk's side. I believe you, though. Did I actually cast it, or was it just in the deck? Can I put it in the top right? I guess it's better. Liliana's pretty good. They had a good curve. If 
If I have any interest in writing for CFB, SCG, yeah. Yeah, I, I know I know a portfolio of articles would be nice to have, but I don't know. It's like I have to kind of start writing articles for nobody. So I guess I'd be, I mean, I'd be writing for you guys. I'll think about it. Yeah, I would be more interested in doing videos, I think. What's the white box on the Oblivion Stone mat? What is that? Oh, that's uh, that is my trophy for winning a cube draft with my friends. It's a painted demonic tutor from my friend Madison. Liliana is going to ultimate. It's much worse without, you know, the draw two effects. Top, top. It's pretty bad if they ultimate immediately, but I feel like they'll keep Liliana around. Then we can put, like, both permanents into play. My opponent gives me permanence versus lands. What do I do? I'll probably take one land and then non land permanence. But I probably have to keep six lands over these. Maybe I don't. Yeah, I don't need lands. You guys, you guys actually think I should keep the lands here? <laughs> yeah, let's just keep these. Fine. I have more lands in the deck, dude. Did I make a mistake? No, 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 no way. Whenever you have uh, the thought that you made a mistake, immediately dismiss that from your brain because it's not true. That's what I always do. I think I'm going to try to hide this. I guess the Snapcaster... I think, yeah, Snapcaster being a 2-1 is pretty relevant, I think. Right, everything's fine. I declare everything to be fine. Although, Liliana may just ultimate again. I guess we have the Snap. This is the only game of the day where Spike doesn't get flooded. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we have a Snapcaster to attack, and then Gifts is the worst with Rest in Peace in play. Yeah, we're facing Bruna. They have the combo game one, but couldn't go for it because they knew about our Cryptic. They're going to hard cast Gristlebrand? Pretty nuts. I think we need to put back Field of the Dead. We have a second rest in peace. So I think we can leave them with Abrupt Decay. I wasn't playing the Gristle Brand last time, so this is like an older list. Is Gristle Brand good? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, graveyard, graveyard. Good pile, good split. I just discarded rest in peace. Mm, oops. Well, then I guess I'm uh, bouncing this. Everything's fine. Everything's fine.
Temporal Mastery, please. I guess we, I only have like one left in the deck. Oh, we have two. It's plenty. Oh, there's Nexus. Put back Serum Vision, Sanctuary. Play Nexus, attack Liliana. All right, just flipping. It's kind of scary if it happens. I have the graveyard back, which is also a problem. It's been a really cool game though. Well, the ultimates are always just very neat, I think. They were still doing fine. They have a fetch land they get to escape this Uro card, but how good can it be? Well, we know the top of our library. We're not ripping Temporal Mastery. But Exhaustion would be maybe a good find. How is Gorio? Gorio's been uh, very good, I think. I'm, I think I'm playing it in this Saturday's challenge. You should start upticking Jace on me. I don't think so. We'll kill him with, our, with these guys. We have, we have 28 cards left in our library. I mean, I feel like we still need. I know, I know, we've got a second dictate. I mean, like at least this turn, like finding exhaustion would be really nice. Although we may, we may lose the Jace. We do have our graveyard back too. You play a Goro's deck with Galta, Grizzlebrand, and Fury of the Horde. It's interesting. They discarded Colossification. Can't believe they do that. You can also find Cryptic Command. Giga Drowse maybe works too. We did find Cryptic Command. So let's go. Probably want to put this uh, Temporal Mastery card on top. I think I'll put Giga Drowse underneath it to protect it. Oof, now we see why only three Mystic Sanctuary. Yeah, it's for when you get Liliana ultimated. Thousand IQ. <laughs> They're supposed to upkeep, so they have less options with Jace. It's nice that they're making zombies now, though. They get if they play my list, they just don't play counter spells. Oh, I need to. I oh, can't can't draw, can't draw. Because I'm bouncing Liliana. If we return a permanent, if we return a permanent, uh, they have Veil of Summer. It's bad. I think I should just put the Mastery one card down. I'm I'm gonna play around Veil. Target my own land. Now we have Temporal Mastery on top. What's the win contest? Like, you'll figure it out. You got a few. You got a couple part of the Water Vales. You got a Jace. Got two Snapcasters and an Ink Moth. They have a graveyard now. We click trials, then time walk. Uh, if that's the case, then time walk goes to the top, but what do I know? All right, this veil is pretty good against the giga drows, but we could kind of just like bank on them never taking another turn, which seems doable to me. I think we just put veil and thoughtsies in their yard though. Or maybe they can actually Rip crop part my whole hand. Maybe they can. It's probably fine though. Like who needs a hand? We're about to draw a new one. Yeah, they only got one back. If they if if they just tap out to discard my whole hand, that's something I think I'm cool with. With Lum, they definitely can. I mean, they didn't have like three lands in their graveyard, but if they just had three lands in their hand, I think this is fine. 
Losing two Sanctuary stinks. So have one in the deck. I declare myself to still be ahead. It's a miracle. Uh oh. Hmm. There's the third sanctuary. <laughs> They also only have 18 cards in their deck. I know that we our li our library size is a concern. Here, hold on. Let me actually. I'm not. Let's see how many lands we have left in the deck. Only three and a Mikakoro, so we'll have. Can we not escape this? Or awaken. I mean, do you think we're supposed to start plussing? Just all with Jace. I don't know if we have enough cards in our library to ult with Jace. I have exactly enough. I may maybe I miscounted. We're drawing three cards a turn, so we're alternating with four turns. I think if we can find the Giga Drows and then like kind of soft time lock with that, it works. We're off by about eighteen cards. Yeesh. And we've got these exhaustions, which help. Oh, I could. Oh, I could have bounced them. I mean, bouncing the zombie keeps the Jace loyalty high, though. Everything will be fine. We're dead. If, we're dead if we take two more turns. I think we do have a fetchable target with the strands. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. If we bounce a zombie, we're you know we're taking a turn off, which is just such a huge problem. Well, if we exha if we exhaustion like they we're not drawing a card on the next turn effectively, but then we will on the following turn. Yeah. Oh, you're right, it is the same. I don't know why I just totally misthought it. Yeah, 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 it's the same. Alright, game three. Keep. No Nexus. Uh, you, know, it's, you know, it's a Dono deck, so not a list of my design, but I do think a Nexus could be good. I'm going to keep the... Oh, I guess... I think we could snap Serum Visions, but these Rest in Pieces feels like less of an option. Yeah, we do have a Nexus. It's not one of fate. Yeah, probably shouldn't have. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I just shouldn't have played the rest in peace and snap visioned. They do play decay, so I like getting the second rip down. Maybe they'll just deck themselves with their looter. Perfect. All right, you draw multiple cards a turn, so Nexus actually doesn't solve your problems. I 
Discard a Jace. And Eldrazi solves that problem better. I mean, how are you discarding it? Just a hand size every turn? Maybe you probably get to hard cast them later too. It's interesting. Um, probably play out the Snapcaster instead of, or hold it, you know, instead of Nexusing them. Get out of here, Uro. I send you to the Shadow Realm. Rest in peace. Damn it. What could I have done to prevent this? Maybe you just play more win conditions, right? Not necessarily have a way to stop yourself from milling. Like Jay's Friend's Prodigy is maybe a card you could consider. I have a cycle of time warp. Elixir is better. I don't, I mean, I don't know that Elixir is better than a proactive card, right? Is what I I, di I think I disagree. That like you know Elixir of Immortality is like it, not very relevant a lot of the time. And whereas you could just play a card that wins the game instead of a card that doesn't lose. Yeah, I just want to make sure that they're tapped out and you take six. I guess we're just discarding the Giga Drows. Pretty dead. This would be so hard to like get a card advantage engine going and also Start taking turns. Yeah. I mean, also, like, I, this deck probably plays a fine number of win conditions. It's just that last game, uh, last game, our opponent Liliana ultimated us with 30 cards left in our library. We had to start over. Just maybe, maybe that's just a, a really hard uh, thing to come back from. Go on to the next match, though. Does Modern feel like it's moving in the direction that Pioneer moved, and as the fall of the format came across, people are kind of putting combos into otherwise good decks to make sure they can finish harder? My gift deck feels kind of like that. Uh, I would say that maybe it's reaching a bit, but I do think the Gorio's deck is specifically good. I would say that, you know, Pioneer had a really, like, defined landscape uh, before Theros came out. There's, like, blue-white control. Blue-white control. and Blue-white control is the best decks. Just it was, like, blue-white, chunky red, ramp, mono-black aggro. Uh, th there, th th there was, like, some gruel decks. Th there was, like, a pretty diverse format. I feel like most, like, classical archetypes were, were at least represented. And then Theros came out, and then the format was had the four pill. It immediately like was a format of Uro, Heliod Ballista, Inverter, and Underworld Breach, and like those were the tier one decks for like the until they were banned. Uh, and Uro's still like, around, but uh, like the the landscape that existed and the landscape that was, in my opinion, pretty fun, um, died. When Theros came out, and so now that these combos are banned, Pioneer has kind of, I think, struggled to find an identity and like heal, like you know, regain the player base. And I think what it needs to, in order to do that, to regain the player base is some kind of jump start from a big tournament.
you know, needs a GP, needs a, needs something like that. I guess Commandeer is a win condition, huh? Yeah, if turn two Temporal Mastery is nice, of course. I kind of just want to cycle my Cryptic. <laughs> don't think we need to exhaustion have remand up the real time walk of modern would love for them to like I would love to get to commandeer a jace or a teferi it'd be awesome You've had a hard time drawing a card advantage engine too. How did Simic we went 3-2 with Simic steal your stuff? It was pretty cool. Oh, dude, this is awesome. We're playing against back-to-back -back brews of mine. That's sick. This is the Bant Ephemerate deck. Back-to-back -back spike brews, an aspiring spike format. Kind of miss playing this deck. I was hoping we could play some of it this week and end up being obsessed with the Gorio's deck. Dude, if, if I it would be awesome to go the whole league of just spike decks. That would be so cool. Am I going to be interested in... I think I'm just, just going to cast my Dictate, see what happens. We can commandeer to beat force of negation, right? I'm just gonna reman my own dictate here. What would be the top five spike decks I'd wanna face back to back in a league? <laughs> I always love people asking me, quick, what are your top five? Yeah, I, I, I know this is different, but it's just like always the funniest question to get. Uh, I mean, I guess like the, the like the decks that I've built that are currently that I'm like currently playing are this deck and then the Just Guy Lotus Field and then um, oh I should have tapped the Nexus here. I guess I'm just gonna take a draw step. Just Guy Lotus Field. Uh, Blue Red Breach, I think, is pretty good and popular and you know somewhat played. Not sure. Exactly. Um, I think I'm. I'm I think I'm just gonna like make them counter apart the Water Veil here. Seems fine to me. We can also commandeer, right? It's pretty bad if they have remand. I'm kind of down to commandeer this. This kind of draw. So we, if we commandeer this, we gain control of it, and you can choose new targets. Can it target itself? I know you can do that with like forks and stuff. One way to find out, right? You can't. You can target Commandeer. I think you're right about that. Do I want to exile Dictative Crew Fix? They have Skyclaves, so probably not. Exile Dictate. I'm just worried about them having Skyclave for my other Dictate. Like this, this failing, and then they have Skyclave for this Dictate. This deck plays four. All right, extra turn has been taken. I 
And they don't seem to have another counter spell. So I don't think I should play around one. What's up? It's me, your friend, Aspiring Spike. Marwin, seven months in a row. Happy 2021 to you, too. Although, I think we're on, like, December 38th right now, 2020 is what it feels like. I'm gonna hold the. Um, sanctuary. I'm doing this because they get a path for my nexus. Although maybe I'm drawing so many cards I'm not supposed to hold here. I'm not 100% sure. No. So if we draw one more taking turn effect, we win. Didn't upkeep dictate. I mean, I didn't know I was casting dictate for the turn necessarily. Definitely want to fairies in this matchup. Don't think I want rest in peace. Force is probably okay. Feel worried about oversight boarding. Welcome, Spikelings, to the Shark Typhoon. Andre, four months in a row. Welcome back. Literally the only streamer. Thank you. I'm glad you're having a good day. And I'm glad you're still liking the stream. Welcome back. Happy New Year. I can keep this. I need to rewatch some 30 Rock. I showed the whole thing to Esther. Oh, we get to update the counter. <laughs> Perfect. Good draw. Uh, Sanctuary is, you know, kind of awkward with Temporal Master because it exiles itself. Oh, I didn't play around Tails End. What have I become? Oh my gosh. Phew. I don't play around them drawing it, I think. You should aggressively mull to find a piece of extra draw. That's how you get wins with this deck. I like pretty, I disagree, especially in a matchups like this, where your opponent has so many one for ones. You know, they've got, they've got force navigation, skyclave apparition. They've got a bunch of fairies, a uh, bunch, like a bunch of remands. When you're aggressively mulling for a card like Howling Mine, I, it, it seems to me that that is a poor plan. Wasn't to poor man. It, it, turn two on the play, it's the same thing. First turn, you could draw it. Just in general, not explicitly versus control. Um, I don't know if I. I agree, I, I like a bit more so, but I think that there are like a lot of hands that you keep without one. I know that you know this is your deck. You play it all the time, but who can disagree? I think there. I think that there are a lot of hands you should keep without. Uh, you know, dictative crew fix. Well, it's a bummer, but if we get to resolve time warp, I'm feeling okay. I don't want to play the Serum Visions because I have, you know, a second Temporal Mastery underneath. Yeah, it's a fairy would have been nasty, but we would have kept Jace around at least. Probably would have been okay. Start to poison them. I think it's better to play uh, Howling Mine here. I guess I could actually see activating this. If I draw just a land, yeah. 
which we have not yet. Hmm. I think I need to bottom both of these. I'm gonna hit a land. There we go. Couldn't quite activate Mikakoro, but the turns keep going. Let's do the time warp again. All right, now we get to poison them once. One poison. Hmm. Eight mana? That was Temporal Mastery. Oh, we could actually Time Warp and then activate Mikakoro. No, we're one mana short. All right, Temporal Mastery it is. What if my opponent's been like sandbagging Force of Negation this whole time? be pretty bad I think I made a typo in the stream oh man it's been nice having this career while I've had it it's, I really appreciate those of you who have stuck around but oh dude you should have cycled that sooner I think oh we have struggled to find more lands Am I leaving magic? Yeah, I made a typo in my stream title, so I'm out of here. We're done. But thank you for letting me know. I fixed it. Been a good run. Had some laughs. Didn't hit a land. A land would let us uh, awaken the part of the waterfall. Awaken. Awaken. Don't think we need. That's a fairy. I'll keep an island though. Are we talking about tap snow lands? Uh, are they broken? I, I so there there are tapped dual lands that are snow types and are they modern legal? I can't imagine them being good, <laughs> honestly. I mean I can imagine it. But I don't really feel like they are. Are they good enough for Bant's ephemerate? I don't know. Probably not. Bone said, just tell me, am I dead? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Like, just having guild gates in your deck that make Ice Fang Death Touch faster doesn't seem that good to me. Definitely not broken if they end up being playable. I think, yeah. Alright, one and one against uh, aspiring spike decks today with your decks <laughs> this is yeah it's really community battle day where uh i face my decks with your decks yeah there are snow duels they intertapped they did not just you know fuck the reserve list i, I also think that's like the dumbest way to fuck the reserve list if they're gonna do it just print snow duel lands you know it just just abolish the the reserve list, honestly. Mm -hmm. Probably a good matchup. Oh, I was, I was supposed to get Fountain here. I mean, they printed Luxury Suite. I mean, it's very different because they don't have basic land types and they're just like, just for EDH, which is like what people wanted them for anyways. Drawing three lands stinks. 
what is the highest number of trophies did you achieve? What is the MTGO record? Uh, I don't know and I don't know. I know I've been in the 30s before. Um, I don't really keep track of stuff like that, I guess. They can't crack the stone. I don't think I need to remand this. I want to remand a Karn. Could remand this. Ultimog is pretty good. Yeah, let me remand this just to cycle and hopefully we can. I'm not gonna add it to the counter, but I almost feel like I should. I think we're going to try to use the exhaustion as an explorer. Yeah, probably not walking away with this one. Wait, there's a new Tybalt? Alright, somebody, somebody send me a link or something. Or at least like type out what it does. New Tybalt sucks? Good. I mean, is, is it like an intro deck Tybalt, or is it like a real card? He's a god? Oh, you have to be messing with me, right? Maybe I'm supposed to part the Water Veil this way I could draw a card advantage spell. I think I will part the Water Veil here. I think I don't want a Sanctuary. Maybe I'm just supposed to play Sanctuary and Mastery. This is what I was hoping for. Yeah, so now we can Sanctuary Exhaustion, Temporal Mastery, then Dictate plus Exhaustion. What number of Exhaustion is that? Is that three? We're gonna, have to, we're gonna have to run the you know well, of course, but it's fine, right? Sometimes you have to run well. All right, we may be doing it. Okay, okay, that's a win condition. That's a win condition as well. What a crazy series of events. We have eight mana, nine mana, so we'll, you know, awaken here. Or is it better to snap time warp first because we get to attack with for 10 next turn or eight next turn? Probably doesn't change the clock, but this is more damage, we'll do it. Interesting draws, basically a time warp, right? This is a, definitely a spot where the fourth sanctuary would come in handy. Casting Awakening on Prairie Stream for convenience sake, mostly here. Oh yeah, I guess, I guess they would be able to O-Stone, but O-Stone wouldn't kill Prairie Stream at least. But Exhaustion should wrap this up. Awesome. Very cool. Has anybody said what Tybalt does? Alright, I hope that this is a link to Tybalt. Whoa! It's just like Loki impersonating Odin. Okay. So it's an MDFC. When Valkyrie is battlefield, each opponent reveals their hand. For each opponent, they exile a creature they revealed this way until it leaves the battlefield. Choose a creature card. Interesting. I mean, the fact that this could be a two mana creature or a seven mana planeswalker it doesn't seem that bad to me. I'm into it. Don't think the card's that bad. Dude, we can commandeer a card. And... Awesome. I think I'm going to cut 
two Giga Drows? Tybalt impersonated Loki, it's maybe a bit more accurate. Yeah, Tybalt seems okay. Not as good as the uh, the first Tybalt we got, but you know, what's a king to a god, right? But it's multi four on the play. Multi three. Did Tybalt do a reverse Cynegos? <laughs> kind of a funny way to put it. Seems like it though. Uh, we can't hold up Reman next turn. I think I still want to have access to it. We might lose to a multi three. They have like a Karn here. Okay, they don't have a payoff. I cast exhaustion. <laughs> Time walk. They have Ulamog? Oh, it's Ugin. I guess we remand this, but not like super scared. We could I think it's it might have just been fine to let that resolve, but I think I'm gonna Mystic Sanctuary back remand. I think we can go exhaustion plus remand next turn. But I ideally we, we go dictate this turn. Or crypt or cryptic their play. And we can go Howling Mind plus Exhaustion next turn if we don't get to dictate. Seems okay. I, I doubt that they have Ulamog. I feel like they would have played it if they had it. They have Ugin, of course. It's fine. I think I just like. Are they going to crack their own stone? No, they're not. It's fine. They're just not going to crack it. I think they may have realized mistakes were made. Have I seen the new blue-white planeswalker? No, I haven't seen anything. I just I just sit in this room, but I'm, I would love to hear about it, though. If you want to tell me what it does. All right. But it just could have stopped me from drawing like a thousand cards. It's awesome. Do I play the Howling Mind to make them sack the stone? I don't hate that. It seems okay. I think it's play Jays. Nico Eris. Create X shard tokens. Shard sacrifice this enchantment, scry one, draw one. So shard is a better clue. Create a shard. Two damage to target tap creature. Weird. Interesting card. Three mana planeswalkers always are. That's true, that's true. You can't tap it for Urza, which is, does make it not strictly better. The plus one looks pretty bad. It's also on a three mana planeswalker, you know? So it's like hard for the plus ones on three mana walkers to be good. Could probably brainstorm for a bit, but this game is very over, I think. Yeah, we get to yeah we get to uh, awaken here, so that, they'll be dead shortly, I think. We draw an untapped land. We get to attack too, but that's fine. Opponent defiantly playing it out. Taking two more turns, which they 
are dead too and we use Snapcaster, so I'm not even to bother activating Jace. That game one was sick. We advanced to two and uh two and one. Could not beat the awesome Sultai Gorio's Vengeance Bruna deck that someone very smart and handsome made, but uh deck's looking pretty good. I'm gonna mulligan this. Oh no, we have snap ops. Nah. But way better. Put back uh Giga Drows. Yeah, I was uh, also wishing we could commandeer a Karn. Hmm. Next we have uh, Mr. Fister's four color uh, Polymorph deck. Um, and so Mr. Fister donated for this like three weeks ago and said, can you play it today? <laughs> and uh, I actually like took a crack at building my own version of the deck already like two weeks ago. Um, and we, we've got some pretty different opinions. Mr. Likes Mass Hysteria compared to Footfall Craters uh, to give your Immercle haste for one mana, but you can't cycle it. It gives your opponent's creatures haste. And then uh, he's also playing Transmogify over Indomitable Creativity because he thinks that the that exiling an opponent's creature is a bit more relevant. Um, I'm not sure that I necessarily agree, but we're going to try out uh, you know the, that take. Oh, this is the Skydiver deck? That's cool. Probably a good matchup for us. Maybe not. They also play Renin 6? No play? Yeah, I think Craters is better than Hysteria, but we'll just we'll play it. You know, that's part of the the fun I play test for you. I dance like a puppet. What? They didn't cycle on their turn? Like, what instance are they holding up here? This could just be like a team or control deck with Cryptic. It's actually kind of what it looks like. All right. They definitely have counter spells in their deck, <laughs> as we have found out. We did not hit our fourth land. They might be turns of Tamiyo. I mean, Tamiyo stinks, but I mean, Tam Tamiyo is not bad. It's just like so hard to justify playing any number of Tamiyo over any number of Jays. I think. Three blue instants, cry two, draw two, and for foretell for one blue. It is interesting. I do you like Glimmer of Genius a lot? Well, if we get to Jace minus on Uro here, I think we're doing okay. But if we don't, I think we're doing bad. Yeah, like, especially because, like, you have no white cards in your main deck, I really think you need to play 4th Sanctuary, 6th Fetch Land. And you still have plenty of white sources for your sideboard plan. But I think we're just dead, because they get to Mystic Sanctuary back force, and then force my Jays. Be right back. It's kind of interesting. I don't hate it.
I don't hate it. Right, it seems very good in standard. Seems very good in um, lower power level formats. I'd have to play with it a bit, I think. Mm, maybe I don't want fours. Trim on the cantrips. Yeah, yeah, I, I think you played two Hallowed Fountains, one Prairie Stream, probably. Oh, I thought that's what you're, we were already doing. Okay, so maybe you just play uh, the Fourth Sanctuary and Second Fountain, one stream. You can cut an island for a fetch land pretty easily, too. I really dislike the snow mechanic. I don't know. I don't know, understand how snow how snow has been a mechanic that's seen that's been printed in so many sets when I feel like it's so boring. You know what I mean? Just like I don't know. I don't like snow. Just like I don't know why they keep bringing snow back. Like is snow popular that people just like love it? Yes! Up the counter. I mean, if Ice Fang, if Ice Fang just said, you know, the number, you know, if you have three or more basic lands and played as Death Touch, it would, you know, it would be the same card, you know, for the most part. I guess it counts copies of itself, but you know, that is what the card says for the most part. Is if it has three or more basic lands in play, it gets Death Touch. And I don't know. We also have to remand that so we can start exhaustioning them. Getting a bit greedy to try to remand a three drop. Yeah, it counts Astrolabe, but at least in modern, Astrolabe isn't legal. I know that was the intention, though. When you first printed the card. And, you know, maybe Snow as a mechanic can exist, but Snow Dual Lands at least feel like a mistake to me. I mean, six mana to destroy two lands isn't that good, but seven mana to destroy three is kind of decent, I think. I disagree, BF, that fetchable snow tap lands like make like banned salt some you can ban snow so somehow good again. But I'm I'm willing to be proven wrong. Yeah, like, I think that Snow Basics were, like, honestly the big mistake. Yeah, Snow Price of Progress would be awesome. Yeah, I'm not saying Bad Snow is bad, I'm saying that these dual lands aren't good. Like, they're, they're tap lands, they don't, they only tap for two colors, not three. I think they're just not, you know, like, something you're very incentivized to have in your deck. I just let this go. Maybe be I, I I would you know be willing to be wrong about the lands. They could be good. It's just not my initial impression of them. F five mana. Ooh. Howling mine, how you've betrayed me. Does my opponent have an another one mana disruption spell? <sighs> Commandeer? 
All right, I think we've uh, I think we've fallen into a trap, guys. Hmm. It's not the best howling mine I've ever seen. I'll tell you that. The Taking Turns Mirror, old versus new. <laughs> what have I become? My sweetest friend. Everyone I know goes away. We're gonna mulligan this. This hand's worse. Or five. Hands better. Would I be willing to build around Arcanum Wings? Um, I don't know what that card is. Ooh, Elementals. What? Wait, Vorinclex is a dinosaur? Uh, probably not, Craig. I, just, I understand, you know, the idea. Ooh, smoke breeder? Smoke breeder is great. Soul ring. It's great. Really good. It's related to Tybalt. Oh man. <laughs> Loki, I mean Tybalt is bringing the snow giants, I mean the Phyrexians to the Nord plane. <laughs> That's awesome. Dude, Giga Drows is great against Skelemental, but I think we'll try to do that next turn. Could also just maybe take the hit, discard two cards, and get a Dictate down. These are the choices. Uh, I haven't seen the new Warren Clex, no. Oh, whoops, sorry. It's always messing with stuff. If they double Skelemental, I'll just obviously Giga Drows. Kind of seems like what's going to happen. That would be really good. I might even concede to it. Mm, okay. There we are. Ripped, yeah, just Norse mythology in general, I guess. But It also like is definitely like the plot of Thor 1, right? Any chance I want a Mystic Sanctuary back? I think I actually probably do want a Sanctuary back remand. Or I like have the ability to at least. Uh oh. Guess I'll get back Giga Drows. Oh, the new Tibble? The new Tibble seems fine. The new Tibble is like a two mana creature that seems like playable. I mean,. If we're talking about modern power, probably not. But in standard, the new Tybalt is like a decent two mana value creature that you can play, or like a or like a seven seven mana planeswalker you can play in the late game. Like if if it was either half, it wouldn't be that good. But the fact that it's got that versatility seems like it's fine for standard potentially. Yeah, maybe we we are just spoiled because power level of sets has been so high lately that it's like it feels like almost every card has a chance to be playable in modern. But it's just totally fine that this Tybalt is not. Yeah, but like the the it's it's you it's more so the front half, but just in the late game you have a seven mana planeswalker. I think maybe just evaluating the wrong side of it. I'm gonna giga draws these two. Play my dictate, and hopefully I draw a uh, time warp. I guess I'll. Oh no, Fulminator is so good here. So I guess I'm not going to Mystic Sanctuary Dictate. 
Or Mystic Sanctuary, sorry, part the Water Veil. I keep wanting to, I keep overpaying here. Thinking that the number here is the number of copies. Have I thought about the Black Legend who has a boast effect as Vampiric Tutor? Uh, I haven't seen that card. Well. Companions were the most broken mechanic. Yeah. Maybe ever. But I also really, really liked them. <laughs> I, I really, really liked Companion. Oh yeah, we don't, you only have, you know, one more non-basic, so. Yeah, we need, we, I guess we can find Exhaustion. Exhaustion or Temporal Mastery off the top. Or like land into Cryptic. Land Giga Drow, or you just Giga Drow's fine. Yeah, we got, we got cards to draw. Oh, don't target Dictate, no! Dob. Oh, we were gonna draw exhaustion if they didn't get my dictate. Nice, good job. All right, finally a matchup for these like removal spells. I'm not even sure path is good. Probably okay. Probably like, better than remands. I don't think of the foretell mechanic like morph where on your turn you can play it face down and then that later you'll pay it for the foretell cost whenever you want. It's definitely worse than morph. It's not, right? Because it only costs two. And then you like usually you're getting like a pretty good effect for like a decent rate. You know, I'm not even sure that they really did miss that hard on, on like, the mechanic companion. And, like, Lurus and Yorion were, like, specifically too powerful uh, with the companion mechanic. But, you know, cards like Kihira, uh, you know, the, the Golgari one that nobody can remember because nobody's ever played it. Um, yeah, I guess Gerudo is pretty busted in Pioneer and Legacy. All right, I'm, I'm adding that to the counter. I don't know. Just like I feel like I feel like they could have balanced the the payoffs more. Just like made made the cards like <coughs> lower power. Lo <coughs> Sorry, seen some crackers and I got some dry throat. I feel like they could have lowered the power level and um, you know. To something similar to like Kihira or the Gogari one, and I and I I think that if that was the case, we may have not gotten the nerf that we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I you know, Legacy, Zerda, Gairuda, Yorion, Luris, too good. The rest of the cards companions probably would not have uh, been changed. If, if like it just did, if those four cards didn't exist in the or if they existed and they were much less powerful uh, I could see the companion mechanic still existing yeah yeah Lutri I think Lutri actually you know maybe like in vintage Lutri would be really good but who cares yeah Jingatha seems fine is Athena available for pets yeah she is she's been Good in the sleep over there. But won't get any pets until you give me your channel points. Give me your channel points. Those tasty, tasty channel points. I'm going to trade this to try to Sanctuary back, Terminus. A fine transaction. Good girl. Basil Fortress should not be the death. I guess I should probably play Island though. Flip this back to 
did not miss a land drop. They fulminated mage me. It's a two for one, baby. One reefy boy. Yes, I did. I had probably right. After a miracle, I quick through my turn. Ah, canceled again. Rat. Mm. Just gonna pass, I think. Kind of will just like them just to play, you know, some some one one more elemental and I'll terminus um, with Mystic Sanctuary. Oh damn it! Playing so, this freaking fortress throw me off. I blame all of my life's problems on Glacial Fortress. Yeah, putting that on top also doesn't really do much, but. Yeah, I guess it's just even better to bottom it and keep it in the deck, actually. It's kind of weird to think about, but. If we're not doing anything else with our turn, which we won't be, just better to bottom the, the mastery, keep it in the deck, because it gets exiled. Okay, so bottom time warp, bottom, take a turn. Can I buy a dictator crew fix? Exhaustion. Serum Visions. Maybe I should have trimmed Exhaustion. Though opponent's like super flooded. Kind of easy to say. Hmm. Probably scoop into that. I'm gonna play it out, I guess. They have two? Must be nice. <laughs> Must be nice opponent. We keep Mikakoro. I guess so, because now we, we can like part the water veil here and then time warp and Mikakoro. It's like starting to get the ball rolling a bit. Nice. I think I'm just gonna warp in Koro again. Helping my opponent who's flooded over there. Right on time, Temporal Mastery. Love to see you. Temporal Mastery is always happy to show up for work. Right on time. Okay, so we can't Mastery and... Koro. I was like, where are our card advantage spells? I think I'm gonna snap Serum Visions before I make a Koro. I could also like, if I draw, if, I, if there's a Dictative Crew fix here, so now we can tap the Dream, draw the Dictate, Sanctuary back Time Warp with the third Sanctuary that I think is still in the deck. Yeah. Then we get to start attacking. Draw one more time warp here. I think we're in great shape. Upkeep, stop, or dictate. Ah, that is a something I missed. Yes. Forgot to side that out. Oops. Be awesome if it was relevant though. Did I see that they're putting an arena on Android for real? That would be awesome. That'd be so good for the game. 
Uh, I think the snow duels like may see some fringe play, but like they aren't a big deal. Oh boy. Yeah, my friend told me that they're doing snow duels this month is not a good enough source for me, sadly. I think this is a different guy from yesterday. I don't remember this being the username. Hmm. Out of ammo. Now we're like chump blocking. I don't know. I mean, they they don't add another duel to the field of the dead decks. The field of the dead decks have had their like they have they can play the cycle lands. They can play the tango lands that are better. It's like like maybe some bant field of the dead decks with ice fang can play them, but like they also naturally draw them sometimes, and they'll be bad. So I don't think it's like a big buff to those decks, honestly. They said snow hate might be coming. Who these are these are like the shakiest <laughs> sources ever. It affects popper scred. Big news. <laughs> Huge if true. <laughs> Again, no fourth sanctuary. It's been saying it the whole week, but it just needs to be in the deck really. Have one part the water veil in the deck. Golly. Well, it's actually kind of nice because it's a uh, more of a clock. Draw a part the water veil. I'm feeling pretty good. I guess we don't need to trade right now. Good draw, like cryptic command. There's cryptic commands. So we can path and then exhaustion. Can I get a Viking hat? It's a pretty good idea. Hopefully I follow through, but I do like the idea. So we can uh, Nickel Koro into the um, command, but we do have to uh, find the part the water veil in a timely ish fashion. So we can counterbalance Snapcaster, so we can take another turn. Hmm. There we go. Right on time. Oh. Thought I had enough mana to also chase. It should be dead though. It's three turn clock. We have another time walk here. We, I guess we have to find one more time walk in the deck, which I'm pretty sure we have. I guess we can find out by fetching. So yeah, let's just fetch and see if we have to make other plans. Now there's two time walks and one exhaustion in the deck. Cool. Ding, ding, ding. Don't need to do anything else besides cast time warp. We can bounce snap. Oh yeah, yeah, that's another. Oh, we actually, we, have, we only have exhaustion in the graveyard, but good, good point. Oops. Whenever, whenever I like see the line to win, I just get so lazy. I have to go to game three now, though. All right, so let's get this out of here. That was a on me for sure. Yeah, I already played the Simic coding deck. Um, although tomorrow I may play, I may try to brew with the uh, coding skydiver, just kind of see like how I would approach building the deck and. 
play tomorrow. We'll see. Confirmed beta for Arena on Android at the end of the month. Uh, I will believe it when I see it, but I would be very excited for it for sure. Um, keeping this second island feels a little weird, but I kind of like being able to terminus on turn three. This is a this is a turns con combo deck that sides into like some controlling elements. Which is probably really good when Humans was a deck, but just hasn't been popular for a while. You will live. Fortress, you're going to live. Because if they Fulminator Mage me, it's pretty bad. Yeah, no, I, I, they've been saying Arena is coming out to Android soon, or at some point, for a long time. And I'm happy to see it like look like they're making some progress, of course. And I would, I, I will be very happy if that happens because it's going to be really good for the game of Magic the Gathering, which is always where my interests lie. Uh, but I, I'll believe it like when I, when I like can download it, you know. I'm just not, you know, we'll see. And I also hope that it's good, you know, a bad mobile app would be really bad for the game, you know? I've heard of the Stow Duel Lands and people are freaking out about them, talking to town. I'll make a YouTube video with my face doing this, uh, about the Snow Duel, Snow Duels in, in Kaldheim, ah! And then I'll say very dryly in the video, I don't think that they will make a big, a big impact on modern. And then that will be the whole video. Yeah, I'll give my elemental token or two. Snow duels? What is Wizards thinking? Question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> Maybe that's the title. Oh, oops. Now I give them extra elementals. I guess I can just path the reef. Yeah, I'm pathing this. We're certainly hoping that they just don't get to take another turn. Which feels possible to me. We could also just draw Terminus. Ah, I just have to be off the top though. <laughs> Why do we play two life to Hallowed Fountain? Uh, no, not to bluff. This has Flash. So we can play both Path to Exile and Dictative Crucifix. Although I guess we could have played Prairie Stream. Maybe that was better, huh? It's too busy making my thumb thumbnail. Hell yeah. I think that's game. Now I'm a real taking turns player. I mean, we're gonna, this is maybe dangerous to play the third dictate. I don't know. Four cards a turn. I played the turn before. The turn before, I was just holding a path. I had a path in my hand that turn. Yeah. I think YOLO is a good philosophy here. We can probably just, we can probably Jason ultimate before we die to the dictates, right? I guess we have to actually draw an extra turn spell. We have to also get Jace down first. And, and if we hadn't played that dictate, we were going to brick there. So at least I feel good about that. I kind of want to cast a path. So we're drawing. Might as well, I think.
snap visions instead of dictate. That could have been better. It's, it's definitely close. We have to do some counting to figure out if we can ultimate Jace before we deck ourselves. Some crazy math. Oh, great. Thank you, opponent. Thank you. Okay, we went three and two. Um, I'm not sure that my impression of this deck... Ooh. Unbanned Preordain and Modern right now. Uh, I'm not sure that my impression of this deck has changed much since I started playing it. You know, I, I think that this deck is a fine playable deck if this is the deck you like, but it's probably not going to be the best choice for a tournament. Um... I do think the Fourth Sanctuary needs to be in the stack, and I would think that specifically the Glacial Fortresses do not seem good to me. With no white cards in the main deck, and and one Hallowed Fountain, and like six or seven fetches, and two Prairie Streams being enough white sources for this sideboard plan. I do think the sideboard plan seems good. Like, like this plan is good against big mana and uh, like blue decks, which is mostly what we played against, and then these cards are good against, you know, more linear aggressive strategies, which I think is fine. Um, 